Oh darn it, I was wondering why it was so hard to get power down on this climb. I've got a, a tailwind. Episode four, I think. I'm losing track of the episode numbers already. We've just finished the interval section of today's spin. I'm gonna be doing somewhere between five and six hours today. Three minutes on, three minutes off. And then I had seven minutes break. And then I went into two minutes on, four minutes off. And uh, I've just got done with those. They, those two minute intervals, I've only done three reps. I was supposed to do four. Uh, and I'm gonna tack on, I'm gonna do four one minute efforts as well. But I'm gonna do those later on in the ride. But it's a gloomy day today, you can probably tell. So I need a bit of morale. So I'm gonna meet Anthony for a spin now and get a couple of hours in with him. So I'm actually a big believer in, uh, in when I do aerobic rides, I make them as long as possible with as much time as I have. Now, contrary to popular belief, uh, I don't have all day to ride my bike. So I've had to move some things around this week so that I can get an extra long ride in today. So I can do five or six hours, uh, but it's not the norm, but I'm trying to increase my aerobic capacity. Basically, when I do Winners Pass, I want to be able to ride aerobically for as long as possible. Like those hill climbs, you know, especially the longer ones, like over three, four minutes and longer, I need to be able to produce a lot of power aerobically. And what I'm getting done now is basically it, I'm not I'm not over so I'm not over complicating it. I'm either going very hard, VO2 max intervals, uh, or, or trying to increase my aerobic capacity. All training increases your aerobic capacity in some way, shape, or form. But these longer rides. I'm trying to spend as long as possible on the bike. Aerobic rides are particularly crucial for me because of course there's only so much intensity you can do, but volume is always, it's always kind of like, like that limiter. Like, you know, the one thing that stops you from riding your bike all day, every day is, is time time availability and that's why a lot of people say like if you can make time to just get that one long ride in a week or well, it doesn't have to be a week but you know every two weeks you know that that long ride is going to bring you lots of benefits in some way shape or form the rest of the time i've got to try and give a body a stimulus without over stress in it and you know steady zone one zone two is just the bomb I also really like these days because I can obviously work to power for the intervals and then I can scrap it. Like I don't have to watch my power at all for the rest of the day. I can just ride my bike. So I hope you enjoy these type of videos. They're basically me just talking to a camera, but sharing my thoughts and opinions and findings in real time, because uh, I guess that's part of vlogging, I think like trying to share stuff that you learn like day in, day out, every day. Um, and well, to give you a bit of an update, this morning my weight has has dropped. So that's a, that's a three, that's a three way in streak, I guess, of dropping. Um, that's not three days in a row. Uh, that's probably over the course of like a week. I've lost like a tiny bit, but it's trending the right direction. Um, the other thing as well is uh, these these intervals I'm training for I'm training for like a three minute effort as such that obviously requires like a full gas effort but what's strange about it is that like I probably won't ever be able to replicate the power I'll do on the day of the National Hill Climb Championships in training I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be able to because it's an accumulation of lots of things you know, um, hype, adrenaline, training, you know, freshness, form, everything it's, a, it's an accumulation, I shouldn't be able to do it uh, some people probably can but I, I'm, I respond very well to like that you know, that race day stimulus I think that's one advantage I have over, over lots of people is that, you know, I've raced all of the world and had to deal with you know, lots of different scenarios and stress and stuff like that. Um, the other thing as well is that 
uh, you have to trust my experience and my my findings on this it's not uh, i don't know the science behind it but if you don't do any say if i wanted to target that three minute effort if you just train normally some of you might find this you might be able to relate to it if you train normally as in you know you do a lot of threshold uh, intervals every now and then you do a lot of just general riding in zone two and stuff you know just in general endurance work um and you very rarely kind of test those those maximum like you know you're right on that limit of your aerobic capacity that three minute three to eight minute type of full gas effort and then you try and do it maybe it's just me but i have found it with other people as well that obviously obviously it's not a worldwide study but if you do that then you come back to testing one of those efforts you'd be surprised how much just aerobic conditioning and the efficiency and how clever your body is at just adapting to them when you come and do those efforts you just like and you haven't done it in ages like obviously it's motivation because you're like I'm gonna go for it. I don't know I see it as motivation I know a lot of people who I talk to they get very anxious and they see it like oh I've never I haven't done a three minute effort in ages and so I'm gonna struggle I see it the opposite I see it as like I, I put a lot of faith in like all of that aerobicness and I'm like I'm just gonna nail it uh, I don't know. Leave your thoughts down below. I, I, maybe I'm maybe I'm on my own with that. 